so excited to be here with you guys today because I want to talk with you about something very important. The difference between a virtual assistant and a virtual expert. Hey everybody, Kathy Guggenauer here, business coach and trainer of virtual expert training. If you have been looking into this industry for any time at all, you've heard of a virtual assistant, but you may not have heard of a virtual expert. And that's because I coined the phrase virtual expert and I registered the trademark on it. So you might be going, well, why in the world did you do that? Well, I did it after researching what was going on with the term virtual assistant. One of the things that I really am on a mission to do is to get virtual experts paid what their true value is. And I was struggling to educate business owners and entrepreneurs who hire virtual assistants to pay well enough for the services because I know how incredibly experienced and expert these women are at what they do and how valuable they are to their clients. So I did some research. I went all around to people all around the world, literally all around the world, people in South Africa I talked to. I talked to people in Norway. I talked to people in England. I talked to people in Australia, Canada, and the U.S., of course. And worldwide, I found out the same thing, which is when they think of virtual assistant, they think of administrative assistant. And to them, that is a $25 an hour maximum position. I'm not willing to pay more than that. And without giving them any explanation at all of what it is, I said, what would you pay a virtual expert? And right away they said, well, of course I would pay a virtual expert more. And I said, well, give me an idea. And they said $45 an hour and up. Ding, ding, ding. I was shocked, just as shocked as you are probably hearing this, that something as simple as a different word could make that big of a difference. But it is the perceived value. So that is one of the primary differences between a virtual assistant and a virtual expert is the perceived value. Another difference is the level of specialization. Most virtual assistants are at least perceived to be more generalists, not as specialized, versus virtual experts are seen as being much more narrowly niched. Don't you love that I was able to say narrowly niched? <laughs> they have specialized further. Thus, they're more of an expert in what they do. For example, Edie Clark, she is a video expert. And she's actually helping me by she's directing this video of me and helping me put it on YouTube and market it. And she is a genius when it comes to YouTube marketing and video creation. So do you want to be higher paid and more specialized so that you can be higher paid? Then you need to be a virtual expert rather than a virtual assistant. The third way they're different, virtual assistants do not have an industry standard of certification. Yes, there are a variety of certificates that you can get, but there's not an industry standard. With virtual expert, since I created it, I trademarked it, I have the industry standard of certified virtual expert. And in order to become a certified virtual expert, you have to go through my training program and then you have to accomplish certain things that prove that you are truly an expert at what you do and an expert in your industry. And you have to renew your certification annually so that everybody knows you are still maintaining that level of excellence. Right now, as I'm videoing this, there are less than 40 certified virtual experts in the world and they are the best at what they do. So if you want to learn more about how to become a virtual expert and a certified virtual expert, I welcome you to apply for a breakthrough session with one of my breakthrough specialists. Just click the link below. You'll fill out a short application. 
And then you'll be able to, if, if your application is accepted, you'll be able to book a date and time that works best for you. You'll talk for 30 to 60 minutes with a graduate of my virtual expert training program and a certified virtual expert so that they can answer any questions that you have about becoming a certified virtual expert. They'll also assess where you are right now, what level of expertise you currently have, and what you need to do in order to become a certified virtual expert. And if they determine that, yes, you're ready to take that next step, they'll invite you into our program. So fill out the application. I look forward to getting to know you. Kathy Guggenauer signing off. Bye, everybody.